Princess Diana and Prince Charles wed in their fairy tale ceremony, watched by 750 million people around the globe, at St. Paul's Cathedral in July 1981. The parents of Prince William and Prince Harry then began their honeymoon at Balmoral, the Queen's beloved estate in Scotland. However, royal experts say that, despite her smiles, Princess Diana was already beginning to feel unhappy. Revealed what Prince Charles really said to Diana at the altar George Clooney compares treatment of Meghan Markle to Princess Diana Netflix documentary The Story of Diana, which originally aired in 2017, hears from historians and royal experts. Royal photographer Jane Fincher recalls the photo call on the couple's honeymoon at Balmoral. Ms. Fincher says, the particular moment I remember when they looked very very romantic he was sort of completely smitten by her was when they were walking in the heather by the river. They just looked so in love and he was gazing at her. He kept picking up her hand and kissing it, just like a Prince Charming would. She kept putting her head on his shoulder, and it was all very romantic. The documentary also shows footage from the famous honeymoon interview, where Diana assured the press she found Balmoral lovely it's a beautiful place. However, historian Sally Bedell Smith reveals she seemed to be having a great time, but in fact, she couldn't stand being at Balmoral. She felt oppressed and hemmed in. Tina Brown, in her 2007 biography The Diana Chronicles, explains the formality of Balmoral's intractable routine made Diana desperate. Ms. Bedell Smith adds that, even on honeymoon, Diana began to obsess about Camilla. When the newly married couple were aboard a royal yacht on their honeymoon, Diana found a picture of Camilla Parker Bowles slip out of her husband's diary. Royal biographer Sarah Bradford continues, on honeymoon Charles was wearing cufflinks that Camilla gave him. Ms. Bedell Smith adds, all she did was worry about her and whether Charles was really telling her the truth.